Today we're going to look at combining integers again, but now this time involving the subtraction sign. Okay, so it's a little more complicated, a little harder to understand, so I recommend that you watch closely. Please, please, please. Thank you. All right, we're going to start. Um, let's start with the number line. Okay. I think for this example, I'm going to show you on the number line, 4 take away 3. Just a quick reminder. You guys know the answer is 1. I'm just building up to how and why we get to 1. Okay, so we got um, Tr Trini, my famous turtle. Okay, and Trini is going to walk 4 minus 3 on the number line. Okay. When you see something like 4 minus 3, here's what you're going to do. We start at 0, just like you did for the uh, positive, uh, uh, just like we did for the integers um, last time. Same signs, different signs. Start at 0. Now, it says uh, 4, so we're going to go out to positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Now, again, this is 4 take away 3, right? Whenever you see a subtraction sign, think about it as... You're going to flip. Trini the turtle is going to flip. So we went out to positive 4. Now we're going to flip, meaning we're going to switch directions. Maybe I should say that instead of flip. And then now what it says is uh, to go forward 3. It says 4, then it says flip around, then it says go forward 3. So in this case, since we're pointing the other direction, forward 3 is... And that's how we get our answer. 4 take away 3 is 1. Okay? So that's the big deal to remember. Let's take a look at... Um, maybe we'll do another one. Let's go with uh, this one here. Let's go with... <clears throat> 4 minus negative 3. Okay? On the number line. So we're going to start at 0. This says to go out to positive 4, so we're going to do that, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we run into a subtraction sign. Subtraction sign means to flip your turtle. Trini goes, switches directions. Now, look at this. In this case, the 3 is negative. And negative is a backward direction. You saw that when you were doing um, same signs and you were also doing different signs. So this is a negative three, so that means Trini, our turtle, is gonna back up three. So here we go. One, two, three, because he is going backwards. If it were positive, he'd be going forward, like we did in the last example. So guess what? 4 minus negative 3 is 7. I'll do that again real quick. Hi, I'm Trini. Go forward 4, flip, backward 3. Interesting, huh? So I want you to start thinking. Is it is it like subtraction or whatever? What's going on here? All right, we'll keep Trini around. And we're going to then um, go ahead and we'll do this next one. Let's go with negative 4, take away 3. Okay? So hopefully you're kind of getting an idea. You can kind of imagine what this is going to look like on the number line with Trini the turtle. So, starting at 0. Now look, we're going to go in a backward direction 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, we're going to flip. The subtraction sign is change direction. So in this case, it's to flip Trini. Okay. Now that we have flipped, it says to go forward 3. Because that's a positive 3. So here we go. 1, 2, 3. Guess what? We're at negative 7. So 4 take away 3 
it's negative 7. That's why. Okay, so think about that on the number line. Okay, it's kind of hard to picture, kind of hard to imagine, but you're doing a great job. You're figuring it out, okay? So we did those. The only example we did not do is negative 4. Take away negative 3. Starting here, I don't have it numbered on here, so forgive me. I'm going to go backward. Again, this isn't a... It, it's, we're going to leave Trini facing to the right. We're going to reverse him four steps. One, two, three, four. Now we have got a subtraction sign, so that means we're going to flip Trini's direction. And now it's negative three. So guess what? What direction does Trini go? You bet. Back three. So... One, two, three. And where's Trini at? Trini's at negative one. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I want you to think about what's really going on here. Interesting. I wonder what's really going on here. Okay, and we'll get to that. All right. <clears throat> so, I would like for uh, I would like to show you the same uh, prop types of problems, but using the counters. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do this one here. I'm gonna bring out my Fruit Loops, and I'm gonna show you uh, four minus three. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Well, they're both positive values, so hopefully you can picture that in your head. Oops. Fruit loop craziness. So here we go. Alright, so here's four. And from those four yellows, because that's what it says, right? It says four yellow, we're going to remove three yellows. Can we do that? Yeah, it's possible, right? Good. So here's our four yellows. We're gonna remove three yellows, and what do we have left? <gasps> one yellow okay very good so there's using the counters for the subtraction all right now i'm going to show you this and it's going to get a little tricky a little confusing let's go with um four minus negative three in this case all right so here's the four now from those four, can we, again, look, from these four, can we remove three reds? No, you can't. This says, hey, you've got four yellows, take away three reds. You cannot do that. So let me show you how you can do that, okay? We need to get more yellows. And reds. I'm sorry. We need to get more. We need to get reds. That's the problem. This says you've got four yellows. Take away three reds. Well, there's no reds, so we got to get some. And we have to get some without messing up our problem. So guess what? You can bring in, if you think about this, you can bring in now, these are the neutral pairs. So look at it. These are just floating around out there in the atmosphere. We can bring them in. Now, what do I have? Do, have I changed the problem at all? What's this? The charge on this is four. The charge on this is nothing. So guess what? I haven't changed this at all. We're still starting with four. But look, I have now brought in enough pairs that I can now take out three yellow i'm sorry three reds and look that's what i'm going to do so i brought in these neutral pairs i'm going to use them i'm kind of using them now i can take out the three reds and what do i have what's our answer well look at it it's uh-huh Look at that. So look, the shortcut, really, to be honest with you, I brought this stuff in. The shortcut is 
to actually not do this, but the shortcut is to change this. You add the opposite of whatever that is. Okay. Good. Good. Let's do another one. All right. And watch this. We're going to go with... Negative 4 minus... Three. Since we're dealing with fours and threes. So take a look at this. Ask yourself, can this truly be done? This oh, this problem is telling us we've got four reds, and from these four reds to take away three yellows. We don't have it. So guess what? Yeah, hopefully you're 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 getting it. So we need to bring in enough neutral pairs that will allow us to remove the three yellows. And I, in fact, uh, did this. And I'm going to situate it this way. So, I have I changed the problem at all? Are we still starting with a four negative charge? One, two, three, four negatives. And this is all nothing. So I haven't changed the problem at all. I did not change this at all. I left this alone. We're stuck with it. Now, though, now that we brought in these neutral pairs, look, now I can take out three yellows and watch. I can do that. I can do that. So what's our answer? Seven reds. You got it. So guess what? Instead of taking out three red, I'm sorry, three yellows, the shortcut is to just add reds. And that's what I'm going to tell you the rule is. I'm going to tell you the rule is to add opposites. Instead of subtracting, you're going to end up adding the opposite of what's there. Okay? So I'm going to use this one example here, and I'm going to use the uh, Fruit Loops, or the counters, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to show you um, what the rule is based on these counters, in case you didn't uh, see it in the previous couple examples. Okay, so we're reading this problem here, and this, this problem is saying you're starting with five yellows. One, two, three, four, five. So here we go. Here's our five yellows. And now th what this is saying is you've got five yellows. Take away from them three reds. Well, you can't do that, obviously. They're not there. You can't make colors just magically appear. So what you have to do, or one thing that you can do, is you can bring in enough neutral pairs that will allow you to do this. So in this case here, I'm showing you, okay, I've got five. From it, I'm, I'm being asked to subtract or take out three reds. So I don't have three reds. So I'm bringing in these neutral pairs. Now look, watch, watch, watch. Now I'm able to remove them. So truly, what I have done, the shortcut is, I haven't taken out three reds. What I'm really doing here as a shortcut is I am adding three yellows instead. So I'm going to tell you that the rule for combining integers with the subtraction sign is this. Here's what the rule is, we're going to say. And the rule is pretty much how you're going to handle these problems. I don't think we're going to ask that you draw them on a number line. Okay, so for subtracting the subtraction sign and integers, okay? Integers for the subtraction sign. Okay, we're going to call it a rewrite, rewrite. We're going to literally take the problem and 
rewrite it like I did. Okay? And to rewrite the problem, we, and I like this because rewrite has two syllables. For integers and subtraction, we're going to rewrite the math problem, the algorithm, to show the shortcut. Okay? So, a rewrite is this. You're going to make two changes. Two. That's easy to remember. Rewrite has two syllables. Well, you tell me, what are the two changes that we're going to make? We wrote this and we wrote this, yeah? This shows you the two changes. We're going to change the subtraction to addition. That's the first one. Okay? Subtraction. We're going to change that to addition. Addition. We're going to change the subtraction to addition. And then, what did we do here? We changed the sign on the second number. It's always going to be, obviously, to its opposite. Change sign on... I'm going to put next. next number, meaning the number after the subtraction. Okay? And look, I mean, that's what we did. We changed that to addition, and we changed the sign on the next number. We changed that to addition, and we changed the sign on the next number. We changed this to addition, we change the sign on the next number. Call that a rewrite. Okay. So uh, let's show. I'll show you another one real quick. Let's go with um, you, and then we'll apply this rule to the very next um, example. Okay. So let's try. I don't know. You tell me. Let's go with. Um, let's go with um, ten. Minus negative 4. Well, if we follow the steps, we're going to do, uh, this is a rewrite. We're going to change two things. We're going to change the subtraction to addition. And then we're going to change the sign on the next number. And look at it. What's it say? 10 plus 4. What's 10 plus 4? Good. All right. Let's try another one. How about this one? 3 minus 5. Think about it. 3. You have 3 yellows. Take away 5 yellows. You can't do it. So guess what? We're going to make it a rewrite. We're going to make two changes. We're going to go straight to the subtraction sign. Re changing it to subtract uh, addition and then we're going to change the 5 to a negative 5 rewrite I like to call it a rewrite what's the answer negative 2 